Hey there, it's Amelia, and in this video I'll review how to find the best templates in Canva which are educational themed for teachers and anyone in the education industry. This includes flyers, presentations, brochures, videos, activity sheets, and more. Let's get started. In order to access templates in Canva, you'll need a Canva account. You could sign up for a free account or take full advantage of all Canva has to offer with Canva Pro. If you're a teacher, Canva for Education is free for K-12 teachers and their students. If you need help setting up an account, you can go to this link and you'll find the link and info in the description below this video. To find templates for education, let's start by typing education here in the search bar. And notice the option for templates is selected here. If you have Canva Pro, you can also search in current designs. I'll press enter to search. And you'll notice there's quite a variety of templates listed here. And up in here, you could see that since I tested this last week, it was 54,000 and now it's up to 50, over 56,000, almost 57,000 templates. So uh, Canva is constantly adding more templates. Now this is just one way to filter templates for education. Notice there's a variety of templates in different sizes for different types of designs. So we didn't tell it to create a design in a particular uh, size, like for instance, if you want it in social media uh, design versus a presentation. And we'll get into that in a moment. To filter down further, I can click on a category or a style or a theme using this bar here on the left. To find flyers, let's click view more here and select flyer portrait. You can also select another type of design and it will tell you if it's portrait or landscape or other information like A4 document. I'll click flyer portrait and now notice that it's in that particular size. And now this brought the amount of templates down to about 1100. If I go up here and type in teacher flyer, it filtered it down further. And as you can see, these are teacher specific. Once you find a template you like, you'll want to click on it and then you can customize as needed. For instance, let's go ahead and select this back to school flyer. And notice as I hover over the different images, you could see the different separate elements which you can click on and then determine if they're customizable, if it's text, for example. Now this in particular is text. So if I wanted to customize this and just put in a different date here, and then you can decide if you want to customize some of the templates, like for instance, change the size, maybe delete an element and add a different one in, move stuff around and so forth. It's really simple to customize. If you want to add a new element, just go to element and we'll just type in school. And you can just select a new element and resize it and then move it along. And, and once your flyer is finished, you can click share and then download. And then you have a variety of formats to download in. Next, let's look at presentations. I return back to the home screen by clicking on the Canva logo. This time, let's select presentations here from this blue gradient bar. The 16 by nine size presentations are best if you're creating highly visual content that is going to be used on a screen for training presentation, for example. And the four by three size presentations are for content that's going to be distributed or printed and not shown on the screen. Now, in addition to these particular categories, if I scroll down, you'll see the presentation templates here in different categories, plain presentations, talking presentations, etc. So I'll click see all here, and this will take us to a separate screen where it will show us all presentations that we can then filter using the styles and themes on the left. And you can also put extra words in the search bar here. So I want to find education presentation. So I'll use the theme 
education to filter down and this has brought us down to about 1300 templates and if you want to filter down further for instance I want to find presentations on math just add the word math in the search bar here now notice that some of these are not in the traditional landscape style so when you add filters by entering words up here sometimes you may notice some different sized designs but it will help you filter and find something more specific so again once you find a presentation that you like let's go ahead and click on this one here and notice that if i just hover over it you could see the number of pages plus a little scrolling preview and there's also a little star character so if you see several designs that you like and you may not see the exact same search results tomorrow then you want to click on the star to add that to your favorites you can always unstar it but it's easy enough to star designs that you like and you can easily find them later by clicking on that design you can see the first page now if i click on the design here you could see that there are actually 10 pages in the template so if i click here you're going to have an option to apply all 10 pages so i do want to apply all 10 pages i'll click here where it says apply and this is even more helpful because you have 10 pre-designed pre-formatted uh, pages to work with and you can just click inside the different elements here's a text box and you can just type your text to replace the sample text you can change the font up in here you can go to the different pages and easily customize press and drag and resize if needed and if you're replacing the picture you're just going to want to click inside the element to select it go over to either element or you can also look up photos also you can upload your own photo so if you want to put a teacher photo in here just click upload select from your device and then it will replace the picture in that image placeholder and you would continue along and customize the different pages as needed there's enough sample information in here to quickly create your presentation and when you're finished if you want to present it or just practice presenting you can click present up here on the upper right and then there's standard autoplay presenter view present and record that you can experiment with let's just pick standard and present and momentarily you will see the presentation on your screen similar to how you would present in powerpoint and you have a pointer and when you click it will go to the next page you have some of the same options that you have in powerpoint like page up page down and click or use the enter key and press escape when you're finished that's all there is to selecting, filtering, customizing, and presenting a presentation in Canva. Next, let's look at brochures. This time, let's use the Create a Design menu here. And I'll type in brochure. As soon as I type in some of the word, I see brochure, and I see a couple different options. Let's go ahead and select brochure to see all of them. This time, I'll click School here on the left to filter it down and sometimes it's hard to see all the elements on the thumbnail so what you can do is just click and if there are multiple pages you can apply all the pages and now you can see the elements and the images a little uh, larger you can also experiment with the zoom to see it even larger and if you don't like it you can just click on this back arrow and then select a different brochure Again, apply as needed, and then you can just experiment and see the thumbnails a little larger on the right side until you find one you like. If you're working in one and then you realize, you know, I really like this, I want to add it to my start items, just click the back arrow and on the main screen where you found the thumbnail, click on the ellipsis and then click star. And then it will be added to your favorites. Again, you can customize, click on the element, and when you're ready, you can use print or share to download and so forth. Next, let's take a look at how to find educational videos. From the home page here, let's do a more specific search for art class videos. So I'll type that in here in the search bar, art class videos. 
And let's filter down a little further. I want to click on education in the theme here on the left. Okay, and then the way you would tell if it is a video is you're going to see this little play button here on the uh, bottom of the thumbnail. And this does tell you the number of seconds is about 27 seconds or so. Um, so you can see here that some of these are not videos. And let me just go ahead and select on the left here video so we can filter it down further. Now these are all videos and as I hover over you're going to see a preview of the video along with the number of seconds. And I'll select this video, open it up, and then if you want to give a look and see what the whole video looks like you want to click the play button on the upper right. Some may include sound or music but this one does not and you can see here it's almost finished so if I want to return back and say I want to select a different video on the left here I just select a different video again this one has a preview it's about 33 seconds and I want to apply all four pages which are actually clips so this is a fun video and it has a lot of elements in it it's easy to customize Let's say I want to add a different picture here. I want to click on that element, click photos, and let's just put here children. And I'll pick this here. And if you drop it in the placeholder just right, it's going to drop in that placeholder automatically. So let's click play and see what that looks like. You can see there's different animation that's already selected for each clip, easy to customize, and easy to replace any of the pictures or the text. Now if you did want to replace some of the clips, like for instance this here, um, maybe you want a, a different clip of food, so you want to click here and then go on the left and click videos, and we'll just say uh, fruit. So maybe you want to replace that with a fruit video. Let's pick this one here. And I'm going to drop it in place and let go. And there you have it. And now when I play it, and I'll just fast forward a little bit, you can see that particular video has been replaced in that video placeholder. Finally, let's search for educational activity sheets. These are fun for teachers, students, and kids. In the search bar, I'll type educational activity sheets and as you can see it found over 4,000 templates again that's as of today it's going to increase as time goes on and you could see the different categories here styles and themes so uh, education school illustration fun let's just look at fun here and then I can uncheck and select maybe teacher or student. Excellent. And then when you do find a template that you like, you just want to click on it. Here's a color by number. And it already has the image with the numbers in it. But if you're replacing the image, it's easy enough to just go to elements Let's say we want to search for a lion instead of an owl. And then we want to search for uh, black and white. First, I'm going to delete the owl by clicking on it and pressing delete. And actually, the numbers are separate elements. So let me show you a trick to select all the elements. I'm going to move the uh, white out of the way. And then you want to press and drag and select all the numbers and just make sure you don't select the crayons but you might have to select the two bottom numbers separately all right and then we're going to move this over select your lion and then all you would have to do is just add your numbers inside and you could easily do that by either searching for elements numbers or you can go into text and just add the numbers in there and then you have a customized activity sheet. Now once I click the X here it will be uh, unfiltered and don't forget to select all these other different 
categories here. So if you're searching for a line, a square, a rectangle, and so forth. And this will change based on what you search for and the different category and the design selected. Remember, Canva customizes your search experience based on your interests, so you might not find the same results in your search tomorrow or another day. So if you do like something, remember to star it. And to go back to your favorites, you can always click the starred icon here on the left, and that will return back to your favorites. Well, that's it for today's video. Look for my other Canva videos and check out my Canva course. I have information in the description as well to learn even more about Canva. If you found this video helpful, remember to smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.